Hey guys, what's up? It's Brad here and today what we're going to be showing you is how you can set up tables in Excel to essentially have what are called structured references with your formulas which allow you to have a ever dynamic uh, data set that your formulas are referencing so that if uh, you add additional data it's always going to be referenced to as opposed to you having to update a specific range that is being referenced in your formulas or in your pivot tables for that matter. Uh, what I will be showing you in this quick video though is how to add the total, how to create the table I should say and then how to add uh, summarize totals at the bottom of your table uh, just add by adding the total row uh, that is available as a feature to the Excel table. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select anywhere within our data set here. I can just type in, um, I'm in this, a, this cell C5 right now. If I type control A that's going to select my entire data set. Once I've done that, I'm going to head over to the Insert tab, and then what I could do is just select this table. That's one option. The other option, of course, as you can see here, is just by typing Control plus T. That's going to actually create the data set. That's my favorite, or create the data table, and that's my favorite way of doing it. So if we just select again cell C5 or, or any cell within this data set, I hit Control T. You'll see that it's asking, where is this data for your table? We've selected the entire area. And the top row, of course, we have selected as being my table headers. So I'm going to hit OK. So the next thing you can do is you can actually play around with the look and feel. They've got all sorts of predefined templates, and then you can select one and then modify the look and feel of it if you want to, to set it up as a uh, something that manages or that is part of your brand, for example. Okay, so... In I'm going to also change the table name, which is something that you can do. In this case, we're going to call it uh, Consulting Fees. This is data that I found on the Toronto Open Data website. Now that I've done that, we're going to now, under the Table Tools Design, that's where I was, of course, that's where I changed the table name, we're going to go over to the Table Style Options, and we're going to add a total row. So you'll see that we've added a total row, but what you can do and what you'll notice is you can still add records to this by going to the last field, uh, the last row record under the 2014 expenditure here. If I hit tab, you'll see that it creates another record. You can, of course, then enter a new record if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that, though, just because we don't need to. So what you see, though, is we added this total row at the bottom. And if we were to add additional data, of course, this would continue to summarize uh, everything that is above it. So in this case, we're summarizing on the 2014 expenditures, excuse me. And if you selected and you wanted to find what the max was on that, you would say that the max that we spent on it is 1,694. You can switch the formulas accordingly if you just wanted to count of total records. Uh, you'd see that it's 144. But in this case, we want the whole sum or the subtotal, I guess, of what the entire expenditures were for 2014. So if you did the same thing here, you can do on any of these columns here. Again, you can do min, standard deviation, the average, uh, and then you can also select more functions if you would like to. I can show you that. So this comes up, and then you can insert the function as required. So that's basically how you create a table, and then how you can use the total row uh, in Excel to get things going. In the next video, we'll look at how we can use structured referencing um, with this table to come up with some solutions on uh, and using formulas to kind of develop something, uh, either a table or a dashboard of any sort. So can't wait to see you next time.